church started really simple, very small. I mean, literally folding chairs in our front yard. Our church had very humble beginnings, and then we went into the storefront phase. And then within a year, we were actually building a building because we grew so rapidly. Um, in 2000, we built the current facility that we're in, and we've added on since then and added a significant amount of Sunday school space and fellowship halls type stuff. But yeah, God's really blessed uh, our area and uh, also our church in that time frame. So what I think sets our church apart and what makes us different from the many other options that are available in our area is because of what our church values and what our church emphasizes. Well, we were looking for churches and we went through a lot of them and I'm a Catholic. I was, was, let me say that, I was. But uh, we came here and the preaching was awesome. It was, it kept us on our toes and just reading out of the Bible actually opening the Bible and reading out of it and then singing hymnals, that did it for us. Because we, um, I went to churches where, you know, Catholics always just bring a piece of paper and you read off of it and that's it, it's all repetition. And here it was so unique, it was different. The thing with religion is you've got to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And a lot of people follow people, but the only one you should be following is Jesus and that's who's got me here and he's kept me here. One of the things that I love about our church is that it is like a family. We do not have family that goes here aside from us. His parents do not go here. And so this church has become our family. And the fact of raising our kids and we can call up anyone at any point in time from our pastoral staff and they are ready and willing to pray for us. We've had different um, I've had different medical issues, different struggles through life, and they have prayed for us, they have cried with us, they have been there for us, they have celebrated us for, with us as a family when we've had those joyous times and also been there when we've had those trials that we've gone through. And that to me speaks volumes because that is, that's just, that's being Christ-like. I believe in little churches with a lot of people. And if you emphasize people and not buildings and people and not property, you, then your emphasis and your goal will be to reach people and not build buildings. I think our church creates an environment, a, a spiritual environment, regardless of the age group that you're in, um, regardless of the demographic you're in, whatever education you might have, all of that is irrelevant. Our church provides an environment of spiritual education, of spiritual growth, and, and that's really what our church does. And why would we not want to surround our kids into a atmosphere of like faith where everyone is teaching the same thing and we have a pastor that's guiding us and making sure that everyone is teaching the same thing. And it's just, I don't know how people would go without church. And particularly this church because it's the same, and it's been the same for 29 years of my life, and I don't see it changing. It's consistency, consistent support while we're raising our children, how to raise our children. We can go to them for advice. It is like-mindedness. They love our kids. They love us. They're here to teach us from the Bible, how to raise them biblically, getting to have, and going back to, is that they're getting it at home, at school, at church. And these people are consistent. And what we saw, which you don't see a lot, is that people have stuck with this church for about 34 years now. People are willing to stick around that many years, there's something good.